Hi, and welcome to our new Blingers Slinging with e and J. I'm Erica, and in this video, I will show you how to upload the Peace Love Forever Rhinestone SVG in the Cricut Design Space. I am using a Mac computer, so let's go ahead and get started. You will go ahead and click on New Project. Upload project. Click on upload image. Click on browse image. Go to your downloads. Search for your file piece, Love Forever. Click open. You want to click on the one that has Peace, Love, Forever, Cricut, and Brother Scan use this file. So since we're using Cricut Design Space, click on that one. Click Open. Click Save. Click on the recent upload image. Go ahead and click on that. Click on Insert Images, and first you want to go ahead and turn your screen down to about 50% so you can actually see what you're working with. Go ahead and click Ungroup. Alright, so now that it is ungrouped, so just go ahead and click on one of the boxes. You know me, I don't like boxes, so let me go ahead and just delete all the boxes. So just go ahead and click on it, right click, delete, click on it, right click, delete, right click, delete. I'm just deleting all the yellow boxes because Erica does not like boxes. Okay. So now that we have deleted all the yellow boxes, now we want to go ahead and change the color. Because if you don't change the color, then um, all of them will come out on one mat. Now, that will be up to you if you wanted to keep all of these the same color. That would be fine, but not me. I do love red, but I don't love red that much. So I'm just going to go ahead and just pick some colors because I'm going to use my scraps. And uh, I'm using whatever scraps that I have available. So I'm just going to change these colors. Okay, so now since I did go ahead and change the colors and we are using holographic in class, so I'm going to go ahead and make it. And each of my words will be on a different mat. It doesn't mean that you have to have all of these mats. It's just that each color is going to be on their own mat. And because we are using holographic or any heat transfer vinyl, we can go ahead and mirror the image for all of them.
and this is only because we're using holographic or any HTV we mirror. So you know me, I like to bring mine down over a little bit, down over a little bit so it won't be close to the mat, down over a little bit. down over a little bit down over a little bit down over down over down over okay so we're going to go ahead and click the first one we're going to go ahead and make forever. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. It would have been great if my uh, Cricut <laughs> was on, but it is connected to Bluetooth. So we're just waiting for that to connect together. So depending on what you're using, when you're using holographic, you want to go ahead and choose the holographic iron-on. You will go ahead and use more pressure. And then you will go ahead and click the C. Now if you're using regular, heat transfer vinyl you're going to use vinyl plus if you're using glitter you will use iron on plus and just make sure that you change it for each one that you're doing okay I hope you enjoyed this tutorial give this video a thumbs up subscribe and post your questions in the comment See you next time.